Where am I gonna sit now, bruh? Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi guys, hello, welcome. Before you continue, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications so that you never miss when I post a video. Ah, I'm gonna make this super quick because I haven't been very active on YouTube. I haven't been putting content out for you guys. When this whole lockdown thing started, I was like, perfect. Like, um, I'll be able to, but because of certain circumstances, I haven't really been feeling like myself and haven't really been in the best mood so I haven't been able to record. I just thought today I'd quickly update you guys with what's going on and why I haven't recorded. I mean it hasn't even been long honestly it's been like a week. So first off I want to say that I am obviously somewhere different as you can see. Guys have pretty much never seen this background before. Um, so I've had to change the way I'm sat. It's basically like in a spare room where nobody else is in and where I can get some peace and quiet because uh, let me just tell you this house is is an absolute madhouse. Anyway, so I obviously, um, we all know that we are in the middle of lockdown right now. And I'm someone that obviously takes it super serious, especially because of the fact that I have two kids and I'm pregnant. So I haven't been out. I've been in my house as I'm supposed to be. My partner, he's an essential worker. So he, um, he basically was still working and he was working really long hours. Like because of what's going on, the company that he's with, obviously they needed him more than they did before. So he's like, he's only off like one day in the week. So I hardly get to see him since this whole lockdown thing like the kids hardly get to see him which obviously is also a strain on me because i am I obviously i'm getting less help i'm more tired i get more frustrated yeah it's obviously been really difficult and if this was just any other time it would be fine like i'm by myself with the two kids it's fine i can do that but i think it's just just also the fact that um, i'm six months pregnant so I get tired super easy, my hormones are all over the place, like it's just like twice as hard for me to be pregnant and to be in lockdown where you can't go out for some fresh air and I know people say like oh yeah you can go out for one walk a day but it's like it's an airborne virus so I've tried to go out on a walk once and there was just so many people out going on a walk also and it's just like there's no point of, the, of there being a lockdown, do you know what I mean? It starts to take its toll on me and um... I just started to get a bit more frustrated at home and I'd have days where I feel really shit and just don't want to get up and do anything and I have to. And um, one sec, I wasn't used to the minimized amount of help. Obviously I'm super grateful that he's even working these long hours. But it's obviously gonna be hard on me. Yeah, so we got to a point where um, I started really feeling it and I was just like, let me just like firm it because you know, I don't I don't come to sleep at my mum's house. Ever since I've moved out, I'm just like, there's no need to because I have my own place. But I kind of, I had started having thoughts like, should I continue this quarantine or this lockdown at my mum's? Like maybe if I'm around family that could emotionally support me and physically support me because I'm not getting that at home. And obviously I know that it's not his fault, but, I, it's also not my fault that I do need that support and that extra help just not the nicest person sometimes when I'm pregnant especially when I'm pregnant especially when I'm nice but especially when I'm pregnant my hormones are just that everywhere and I, I could get frustrated at the littlest thing ever and to just wake up and you're super tired and then you've got to make sure you clean the house you've got to make sure you cook you've got to make sure your little one's okay they're clean they're fed they're entertained and jaded every second like i'm bored i'm bored and so throwing tantrums here and there you don't have time to just like to just sit down and have a breather or let your partner just like take that emotional load off you and just share that load or that responsibility it's just all you like i said before that would be fine if i wasn't pregnant but also my unborn baby feels everything that i feel so there'll be times where i'd have to lock myself in a room and just like cry and it got to the point where I just felt like this isn't healthy and this lockdown couldn't have come at a worse time because I'm pregnant. I'm already really upset about the fact that I can't have like a normal pregnancy and just go out and do things that make me happy and that's going to make the baby happy. Like I have to be in the house all day and the stress is going to eventually affect me, affect my kids and affect my unborn baby. So I made the decision to continue my lockdown at my mum's house. Just thought it would be the best thing for me just for my pregnancy. I felt like... um. I'm not being the best parent I can be at home here because I'm always just frustrated and stressed and I don't want to start taking out on them and just not being very entertaining for them because I'm sad or I'm tired or... No, the lockdown just hasn't made it easier, basically. Honestly, if it wasn't for the lockdown, I could at least go take them to a bloody park or something. Do you know what I mean? So I just thought this is the time for me to be around my mum, my sister, my brother, like just be around family. Joe, he drove us to my mum's house. I think it was on Wednesday evening. Um... <gasps> It's now Sunday. It's now Sunday. So we've been here for about four days and I definitely feel a lot better, a lot happier, a lot less stressed because it's also just nice to not be stuck at home facing the four walls. And it's just the same thing every single day. It was definitely taking a toll on my mental health. I wouldn't say that I was depressed, 
but I would say that I was in a really, really low place, like a really low place, and nobody, no pregnant woman should feel like how I was feeling when I was at home. Yeah, I'm like around family all day, every day, like the house is literally like <laughs> a bloody madhouse, but I love it because it's just so full of like love and it's just nice, basically, it's really nice. And um, obviously I'm not able to see my partner, um, even on his days off, like he can't come and visit. He can't come in the house so it's still difficult in that aspect but i had to do what i had to do yeah i just feel like when when you're a mom or when you're pregnant however you're feeling it ends up affecting like the whole household i could see also that like Jaden and enzo they were becoming a bit unhappy kind of lockdown isn't easy so i feel like being here and i've got two sisters one of them is um in between Jaden and enzo's age it's nice for them to at least have a child to play with like someone to play with just play out in the garden and do experiments outside and play together at home do activities like it's just so much more nice for them my garden is trash mate so they weren't even going out there like that so being here yes they're on lockdown but they could just play out in the garden um my mom's ordered a paddling pool for the kids so that should be coming on monday i believe tomorrow who is stamping like that it's probably my little sister but yeah i just thought i'd update you guys on what's going on and how i'm feeling if anybody really cares I'm sure this would probably offend some of you because of the fact that you know you're not allowed to see family i haven't come to like visit my mom because i miss her like i miss my mom's birthday because of lockdown i miss mother's day um i really wanted to come see her on mother's day and even her birthday but I had to follow the rules obviously you can't just go and visit family but i just thought you know i'm gonna go to house and stay there until lockdown is finished um i know that's no excuse but this time i just had to put my mental health first sorry if that offends some of you which i'm sure that it will i get really annoyed also by the way when i see people that are out like some people are still like linking their friends and some of my friends are actually pissing me off to be honest because sometimes they'll tell me stuff like oh yeah like i went to go see this person today or had this house party or and i'm just like bro the fuck yeah i'm gonna close out the video here before it comes upstairs and just ruins the video but yeah but yeah i hope you guys well i wouldn't say hope you guys enjoyed the video because this wasn't exactly like a cheery video but um hope you guys can understand and yeah i hope you're all doing well man hope you guys are not stressing too much i know so many people must be also feeling low like not just me during this lockdown so i hope it gets easier for you guys and i hope you know it's not too tough but we shall get out of this together so yeah i'm gonna try to form something else for you guys in next week something that's a bit more a bit more cheery i'm at my sister's house like my mom's house my sister's here too so maybe we could film a video together that'd be really nice but yeah i will see you guys on my next video bye guys